There is a new report that has just come out of China and this just it changes the game. It really does. The new Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y both will come with CATL's new LFP batteries. These batteries have an energy density around 25% higher than CATL's current lithium ion phosphate batteries going into Tesla vehicles. What does this mean? This means you're going to see an insane range for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. When are these cars coming out? Well, I'll tell you what the report says. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm kind of excited. This is really exciting stuff. It's the reason I canceled my Tesla Model Y order because I want one of these. And if they do come, when it sounds like they will, which is very soon, then I'm really glad that I held off placing that order. And you know what? This is the kind of news that really does make my day. It does because this proves what's happening, doesn't it? It proves Tesla vehicles continue to get better. Tesla continues to innovate. And frankly, they're doing it very, very quickly. Now, you're probably thinking, it's not Tesla, it's CATL. That's true. But this is a new type of battery. These new M3P batteries are not really strictly lithium-ion phosphate batteries. They're actually a combination of two different battery types. It's a revolutionary new type of battery, and Tesla have to make it work in their cars. It's not as simple as just going, yeah, just stick it in there. I mean, otherwise, if it were that simple, then everyone else in the world, all the legacy automakers, would be simply going, great, put them in our cars too. We'll do it straight away. CATL, please bring them here. Has that happened? No, it has not. The other thing to keep in mind, CATL, their biggest partner is Tesla. In other words, Tesla pays less for batteries than anyone else. They're another big advantage here. These batteries more than likely will be coming from CATL's brand new factory, which is only a few kilometers down the road from Gigafactory Shanghai. Right, imagine the efficiency of that. The factory is literally a couple of kilometers down the road. It's one of the biggest battery factories in the world. It's gonna be making 70 gigawatt hours of batteries per year, all going, pretty much all going straight into Tesla vehicles down the road, plus the assembly plant the pack assembly plant for Tesla batteries is in a factory just down the road from that factory. So this is insane efficiency here. So what's actually happening? Well, Tesla's going to very soon launch a new Model 3 variant with these batteries. The biggest highlight will be more range. And the fact that people with inside knowledge of what's going on here claim Tesla vehicles won't go up in price. They'll stay the same price. In fact, some people think the price might even go down and the range is going to increase by a minimum of 10%. So what kind of range are we gonna be looking at? Well, currently, Tesla's Model 3 vehicles built at Gear Factory Shanghai are powered by CATL's lithium ion phosphate batteries and they come with a range of 556 kilometers. But Chinese media are claiming that the new two Tesla variants will have a range of X in excess of 600 and 700 kilometers. Now, I don't know if this is true. But I do know the energy density of these batteries. It's already been confirmed by CATL. CATL's already shown just how good these battery packs are. They've shown the technology in them. If you haven't seen the technology yet, I'll put a link in the description below to the video I made about these batteries. And frankly, they are game changing. There's just no other way to putting it. I know you've heard that phrase many times before, but think about it. High energy density lithium ion phosphate batteries, that is revolutionary, especially considering the fact Chinese media is saying these batteries will cost no more than existing batteries. In other words, Tesla will be paying no more money for batteries with around 20 to 25% more energy density, meaning essentially they can make these cars now with ranges in excess of 600 kilometers using LFP batteries at the same price. That's crazy. On the 3rd of August, Late Post in China said that CATL will begin supplying Tesla with M3P batteries in the fourth quarter of this year. Model Y vehicles using the 72 kilowatt hour packs will be using the M3P batteries in the first quarter of next year. So my suggestion is to you, if you're gonna be getting a vehicle from Gigafactory China, Shanghai, then wait, place your order in a few months time just to make sure you get one of these vehicles with these battery packs. Now, making sure you need to know really for certain that your car is gonna come with this new battery pack. So maybe wait until we find out for sure. I'll let you know as soon as I know when you should place an order. Now I'll be placing one as well. I'll run you through the process if you wanna see how that goes. But clearly this is the next generation of LFP. 
These batteries are insane. If you haven't already seen my video, you need to check that out. Both the Model 3 and the Model Y could even get reductions in price, say Chinese media, Cena Tech. I don't know if that's true, and I think that's highly unlikely, but Actually, if you think about it, it is possible considering the fact that now Tesla has hit a run rate of 21,500 vehicles per week coming from Giga Factory Shanghai. And wait times for vehicles in China now have drastically dropped. I mean, Model Y now has come down to four weeks. So it's very possible that it, with this insane production level, Tesla may actually reduce the price a little bit, which would be awesome for me, awesome for US, or for everyone. Maybe not so awesome for Tesla, but I mean, if you think about it, they're making a lot more vehicles. If they do reduce their margins a little bit, they're still going to make as much profit and they're making more profit than Toyota right now. So that's not so bad. CNEV Post claims that because CATL's M3P batteries actually cost less than current LFP batteries, I, I find that hard to believe, but if that's true, that's absolutely ballistically insane, then that would mean both the Model 3 and Model Y have room to drop in price with the new packs. Now, the truth is, of course, they have room to drop in price. The truth is Tesla makes more margin per car from their Shanghai vehicles than any other car maker in the world and or any other factory in the world. I think they're making, people assume they're making between 30 to 35% margin per vehicle from Shanghai. Considering America, the American Tesla factory doesn't really make a profit according to what most people analysts say. All their profits are pretty much coming from Shanghai and Tesla makes a lot of money and it's coming from Shanghai very possible Tesla could in fact reduce the prices of these cars. Will they considering they're gonna have more range? Probably not in my view. So what do we already know? Well, CATL previously said its M3P batteries have an energy density improvement that brings it up to 210 watts per kilo. Now, for example, current LFP batteries in Tesla vehicles that are at around 150 watts per kilo. It's a pretty big difference. Now, CATL also said the batteries won't cost any more than their current LFP batteries, and they cost a lot less than lithium ternary batteries, plus they last three times as long, three times as many cycles. It's a no-brainer. If you're going to buy a Tesla vehicle, get an LFP version, get the M3P version. And you know what, Americans? I don't know if you guys are going to be getting these battery packs, but I assume you eventually will, because of course, where does Tesla get batteries for the standard range Y and 3 in the United States? Well, they come from CATL. They ship them over, of course. So it's a very, very good chance that you guys will get them. The question is when, I don't know yet. As soon as I find out, I will make a video about that, letting you know. In a presentation at the 2022 World EV and ES Battery Conference on the 22nd of July, CATL Chief Scientist Y Kai said the Model 3 or the M3P battery will primarily target the market with a range of more than 700 kilometers. Now, give me a Model Y with a range of 700 kilometers. Bang, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna get that baby straight away. I'm excited for that, as you can see. Now, CATL's M3P batteries are already in mass production, says Chinese media, and they'll be in use, right? They're already in production. They'll be in use the fourth quarter of this year in the Model 3, the first quarter of next year in the Model Y. Now, one of the things I'm actually fascinated on about these batteries is that when CATL unveiled these batteries, they unveiled their CTP technology, which is cell to pack. I'm intrigued to know whether or not this will have some involvement with Tesla vehicles, the cell to pack technology. It's basically similar to Tesla's structural battery packs. It's very possible they could be innovating using CATL's technology as part of Tesla's new cars with the structural packs. In addition to that, reports are that the cathode in these vehicles, in these battery cells, utilizes manganese, which would then mean Tesla would possibly need less lithium per cell. Now, I don't know if that's true yet, but hopefully we'll find out soon. I'm, I'm gonna guess that when Sandy Munro gets his hands onto these cells, he'll be taking them apart and having a look at that. One interesting thing about these batteries is the Quillen battery, allows volume utilization to exceed 72%. And that's actually a new record. It's the highest integrated battery in the world today, CATL said at the time. In fact, CATL say that their ternary version of this battery has a higher energy density than 4680 structural battery packs. The battery, the ternary version, has an energy density of 255 watts per kilo, giving the vehicle a range of 1,000 kilometers. Now, this version of CATL's battery will be in mass production in 2023. I'm gonna guess Tesla will be using these batteries in their cars as well, probably in the long range and the performance variants. That's most likely, but we'll find out sooner, sooner or later, basically. Now, one other thing that's worth noting here, reports are, and I made a video on this, that at Gigafactory Germany or Berlin, BYD has already shipped batteries and those batteries are already going in 
to Tesla Model Ys from that factory there. However, a weird little thing happened here, which you should know about. The range has been quoted as being around 450 kilometers for those Tesla Model Ys using a pretty small battery pack. It's only a 55 kilowatt hour pack. The only possible way that that would make sense is if BYD has also increased their energy density in their blade battery to a similar level as what we're seeing in these M3P batteries. That's the only way that Tesla could get that kind of range from that small of a battery pack using lithium iron phosphate packs. Now, the BYD Addo 3 is a significantly smaller car than the Tesla Model Y. It uses a bigger pack, it's got a 60 kilowatt hour pack, but it only has 440 kilometers of range. We're talking WLTP here, both WLTP, so we're not com we're comparing with apples with apples. So as you can see, the Addo 3 weighs less than the Model Y because the Model Y is a much bigger car, yet somehow the Tesla Model Y is getting tiny bit more range using a smaller battery pack in a bigger car. I think BYD have also increased the energy density of their blade battery, but they've just stayed quiet about it. CATL and BYD are just doing crazy stuff right now. LFP batteries, as you can see, I think it's fair to say Elon was right when he said they are the battery chemistry of the future. And Tesla, my friends, has a huge advantage over almost all of the competition considering the fact they have utilized this technology in their cars long before their competition. Thanks for watching.